Yet again, JP Morgan and BlackRock have outdone themselves as being some of the biggest scammers in America. We all know that the Bitcoin spot ETF from BlackRock will get approved as BlackRock has had a very successful strike rate on getting ETFs approved. And it just came out today that BlackRock dropped their updated S1 and it names two APs, JP Morgan and James Street, two predatory traditional financial firms. Make sure to like and watch this entire video and share it so you know the truth about the Bitcoin spot ETFs. We all know that BlackRock is a major shareholder in almost every company in America, which is a bit scary because they get a massive say as to what happens with a particular company and the choices they make. And to me, that's a conflict of interest, especially when you're talking about healthcare and food. That's just one example, but I digress. And we all know that BlackRock cares about their bottom line and Bitcoin and crypto could impact that, which is why BlackRock is coming into the crypto space with a Bitcoin spot ETF. But the interesting about this story is that JP Morgan was listed as an AP. AP stands for authorized participant and JP Morgan is going to play the role of exchanging cash for ETF shares and vice versa. Basically, they're going to be a third party to an existing third party and profit off of that because they charge fees. But ironically enough, on December 6th of 2023 and prior to that multiple times, Jamie Dimon, the JP Morgan CEO, went on record with CNBC and said, if I was the government, I would close crypto down. Well, if you hate Bitcoin and crypto so much, why are you entering the industry? This is just further evidence as to why you need to stop believing these elites and you need to grift alongside them and make as much money as ethically as possible. Nobody is coming to save you. And unfortunately, this is just more proof on how predatory traditional finance is. This is why we Bitcoin. This is why we crypto. We want to be able to actually hold our own money. And that's the solution that Bitcoin provides. Again, with the Bitcoin spot ETFs, they could potentially be a great tool for people that want to get into Bitcoin, but don't know how to safely secure their own keys. And I get that. But at the same time, they're going to be charging you fees. And it could potentially cause a lot of problems for the industry, as we know that a lot of regulation is coming in. Me personally, I think the Bitcoin spot ETFs are a bad idea, but at the same time, there's nothing that I can do to stop them. The only thing that I can do is grift ethically alongside these people, follow the loopholes, um, operate within the constraints of the law, and use these Bitcoin spot ETFs to my advantage for tax purposes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.